Rex Cardinale makes wine from these vines growing in his backyard in the Santa Cruz Mountains. He makes enough Chardonnay and Pinot Noir to turn out about 600 bottles a year. So he needs a little help bottling all that wine. We're dropping in on a gathering of family and friends at a bottling party for his wine label, Rex. We're gonna heat it up to about 800 degrees, which is the temperature that we cook the pizzas at. I take great pride in my pizzas. I put a lot of love into making my pizzas. Doing prep, making the dough, Letting these guys come to room temperature. Making the sauce. Okay, a little tomato sauce. Sauteing eggplant. Rex Cardinale's getting ready to throw a party. And he'll need plenty of pizzas to keep his guests going. Beautiful. I think we're going to have about 40 or so people here today. Friends and family are helping bottle Rex's wine. Yeah. We're going to be bottling my 2003 Pinot Noir. <laughs> <laughs> two of my 2004 wines. Oh, I lost it! My 2004 Chardonnay and the 2004 Pinot Noir. Bottling takes place in Rex's wine cellar and barrel room, where he set up stations for filling, corking, and labeling. Well, the process starts with uh, getting the wine from the barrels into the bottle, and so I'll elevate the wine up above the level of the filling station. Here we go. We'll siphon wine into the filling machine. Jack! <laughs> and then there will be a crew of folks there putting the bottles onto the filling machine and filling them with the wine and hopefully getting it so that it's just the right level, not too little, not too much. They will hand it off to the folks at the corking station whose job is to pull the lever on the machine that puts the cork into the bottle. One, two, three. Some stations yeah! are a little louder than others. Yeah! <laughs> At the capsule and label stations, I'm sorry. the mood is a bit calmer. They all use a machine to mold the capsule onto the bottle of wine. Moved out ahead of the game. We take the bottle of wine down to the labeling station where some folks will apply glue using a little machine to the back of a label and then attach the label to the bottle of wine. And then somebody will put the bottle into my wine racks. But there are some glitches. Ooh, I heard that. It doesn't go very smoothly at all, as a matter of fact. <laughs> People are drinking a little wine while they're working. And after they've had a little bit of wine, maybe the labels are getting on a little crooked. So nice job, Marvin, nice job. <laughs> maybe the corks aren't going in the right depth. Because this cork is one sixteenth of an inch too high. Still, there's the pizza cooking to tend to. Look at that, that's beautiful. Woo! <laughs> to help keep the bottling line running. Rex says his bottling party grows with each vintage. We're on the same mission of getting the bottles filled and getting the labels on, and they just said that it's a more fun way to have a party and to meet people. A gathering to bottle and cellar Rex. Sharing fun, friends, and wine. That's what the wine country lifestyle is all about. From Rex's Vineyard, that is our show for today. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed your stay in wine country, and we'll see you again next time. Oh,